you have managed to prove your critics wrong because when I read your Q3 numbers, a lot of brokerages yeah. came out and they said elevated OPEX, low interest income and we will cut our estimates. But those two matrices, which is uh, the low interest and the non, the low uh, non-interest income and the entire uh, you know update which is there on ROE has actually improved. Correct. Yeah, Nikun. So I think, uh, as you told in your opening remarks around the Indian democracy, that you can't expect you know anything so quickly, right? So I think we were uh, in BFC for seven, uh, 22 years. So it takes some time to you know understand this platform, understand the whole challenge, opportunity, and do the execution. So Q3 was one of the event you know which we can't control. It was beyond our control right and but i think the team has shown a lot of resilience a lot of character in last uh, quarter four and we are again back with our original uh, as a as a nbfc avatar than a bank avatar and our focus is more on to do uh, you know inclusive banking which is uh, semi urban rural areas where largely our competition remains with nbfc you know we have to build a decent franchise around deposit because if you can't build deposit, there is no fund running bank. So, so our overall matrix in terms of our uh, growth around asset is around 50%, and that's because it's of our lower base. And we are able to build uh, incrementally. We build around uh, 17,000 crore of deposit in two years, which is largely funding our incremental assets. You know, our yield is shaping up well. Our opex, you know, which was on a higher side, which is very natural because of its. Uh, transition time so i believe that as a bank we are shipping up well and as you know that you know quarter one of this year after post election a lot of reform a lot of focus on businesses should come back and i think that the the best time of au will start from maybe maybe this year end or maybe you know uh, maybe quarter three quarter four of this year itself so 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 that's the way i think and and, and i think I, I should consolidate to entire uh, entire our team, the stakeholders, the, the entire uh, customer base to support us in the journey. I think your ROE and ROA will settle for FY20. Uh, yes, more or less. Again, you know, I will say that, you know, Nikons, this transition will take some time and there are a lot of moving items which we do not know as a as, as, as an executor of this bank, right? So, but we have to take it every day. So, largely, I believe that we have addressed everything uh, to the extent but uh, so if if you're able to you know figure out that there is no surprises at all in our journey you know in terms of regulation in terms of you know something which we do not know uh, so I'm, I'm not talking about the asset quality i'm not talking about the cost of deposit i'm not talking about the operation cost it's, it's beyond that right so so largely our, our trajectory is now settled okay and really what's happening to your pure retail NBFC business because you don't seem to be uh, impacted by what we are seeing otherwise across the board in terms of uh, the slowdown We've, you you know when it comes to deposit growth uh, your loan growth disbursements I mean everything seems to be strong and uh, you know I mean I'm sure you'll share with us uh, the outlook going forward as well but just talk us through the pure retail NBFC business no so so our, our DNA is NBFC right and that's the way we have to build ourselves so our, study, our asset strategy is very simple, you know, we don't want to compete with higher end of the customer, you know, it's largely, largely the way we operated last 20 years. So our wheels business is growing by 35%, you know, our SBL business is growing by 40%. Our, uh, the, the other retail aspect like housing loans, the consumer durable, the, the other things around it is growing pretty decent, right? And we really want to focus in this retail. And, and the SME and mid corporate is more of a long term strategy for us. We have again started our, so we have deep, uh, we are actually working on our digital asset lending also. So I think this will shape up in next, uh, next uh, eight to 12 quarters and it, it will remain our focus. The, the advantage for us being in retail space is this you can price your, uh, the, the assets, you know, you can increase your yield. It's uh, actually de risk yourself from any asset concentration any geography concentration, you know, we don't have a large book. So it's a pity, pity to be good in that space. And, you know, if you can build retail asset, you know, so the, the advantage we got is to build retail deposit also. So the whole 
idea the whole focus is to build bull retail deposit and that does not does not come easy you know it has to be more go to market strategy we need to build right technology right people right product offering value proposition for people to come and bank with us but in eventuality you know we can do that because we have built retail so well in last 25 years 24 years so the idea is just the timing right you know it might take some more time and the challenge remain around deposit can be the cost of deposit which beyond a point is not in our hand it's more more of a market driven right so, so largely I believe that we will, will achieve all these things barring one, two more challenges which, uh, which you know, we need to address on, on, on a timely basis. Adarwal, you're sounding very optimistic and confident. Uh, does that extend for your CASA growth as well? I understand the CASA ratio at about 21%. How hungry are you for you know, bettering your overall CASA growth? So I will also give, want to give you one more data point that, you know, a car is a very different story. You know, it does not come easy because we need to build brand. We need to build value proposition to build car. So I think that journey around car, which is current account, will take more time, you know. But I think SA and retail deposit, which is our prime focus, you know, if you really see in our 17,000 code of book, this consists of around 40%, you know. And that's the way the whole focus is. And SA and retail deposit uh, does not have much difference in the cost of fund also. So, but this only will come when our whole retail franchise will shape up. You know, that means that you know we need to have people on ground. We need to have supported by them by that the very well organized technology. You know, we need to build brand. We need to have that attitude of you know who has more hungry, who has more purpose, right? So, so that's why we want to say that, you know, our retail deposit, which is around SA and retail deposit is our more focus area in next eight, eight to 12 quarters.